What's up guys, Nolan here, and today we're going through each of the major talking points from the historic Tarkov TV yesterday in the hopes that it helps paint the picture in the best possible way for everybody interested in the future of the game. As always, if you like the video, hit the button, subscribe for more, I really appreciate it. First clip is going to actually be a picture as this was taken from the Dynamic Loot teaser. In case you didn't know, Dynamic Loot is going to be coming soon by way of weapon boxes and presumably all loot containers being randomized in each raid. They will not always be where you left them last. We'll need Need to look around once that's in game but anyway this looks like a laser designator to me and if you squint your eyes you can see what seems to say labs on it that looks like the labs logo if you guys think you know what this is let me know in the comments the second clip isn't a clip either sorry it's also from the dynamic loot teaser it looks like timmy here has a weapon stand in his hideout across from the intel center because i think i can see what is the gpu farm in the corner right there so weapon stands in the hideout other than this being just a cool thing i don't know exactly what it will add we will, I guess, find out when it's in the game. But anyway, now here are the clips. This is just going to be the actual clips from the stream in raw form. So here you go. I said a lot of stuff related to technical part of the game, sound, optimizations, and networking. So this is the three big parts of the game that we want to make really better, that we want to make almost perfect. So that's why we are focusing on it. And uh, this is the main focus of the development right now. Uh, all of the technologies uh, within the Unity 2021 will give us uh, like the additional technologies to optimize uh, and uh, we have we will ha finally have an updated graphics, we will do it step by step and uh, the memory consumption will, will be reduced and everything will be optimized, especially like the old um, system uh, like item storage system, uh, the resources management and everything. Everything will be used in this uh, update and the game will run faster and will load faster and everything. It's like uh, the, then not like the general engine change. It's like the big one to, to make it uh, all better. So the, the nearest patch, I guess, April or May 2023 will be about Unity 23. So it's not the only patch that we're preparing. Uh, we also will have a big uh, update for the May of 2023. Uh, we decided to uh, globally uh, redesign the core of the game concerning like modern technology and everything. So we decided to rewrite uh, the core game uh, with the help of uh, new technologies because the, some of the, uh, not like the half of the game is outdated in terms of uh, code and everything in terms of utilization of technologies so we decided to use new stuff instead of trying to constantly make it better on the old stuff so this is uh, another big big one it also will lead to many other changes uh, especially in optimizations in i don't know like different kind of improvements and visual improvements also so uh, yeah and uh, of course uh, it will be carried on the whole year of course, it will lead to, to bugs and everything, but it, it needs to be done because I know that everybody wants uh, this. So, the goals that we want to reach. First one, increasing the number of players in a rate to 60. This will happen gradually and not on every location. Second, improving hit registration. Third, increasing positional accuracy, positional matching of players on the server and on the client. Fourth, noticeable FPS increase in online rates. Uh, next one, reducing the chance of desyncs within the server and network traffic optimization. So, this is only about the first one. And uh, the second iteration uh, will consist of uh, refine. We, we will want to refine and apply new cooling system to environment scripted objects in sense, loot, technical lightning objects. So, the cooling system is uh, the th system about uh, making uh, object visually disappear or not. And uh, if you are standing like in a hallway, uh, everything behind this hallway, behind the walls will not be rendered. And it will be uh, done pretty fast. So this is the technical demonstration of, uh, of uh, how it's being done, the cooling system and everything. So like, as you can see, the transition between the planes that will occlude objects is super fast. You will see it uh, right now. So here you go. As you can see, the, the objects loads sh sh being shown instantly without any drastical performance decrease, without any decrease of performance, actually. 
So it's pretty, pretty cool, actually. Uh, for those who are, uh, keep asking how we will able to run 60 players, we already tested it. So it will be 100%. It's uh, the core, the networking was rewritten and uh, gave us gave us an ability to have this amount of players. 60 is just uh, a number. We could do even more. So it could be pretty big. We can do like you can even imagine like what what we can do with the, this amount of players. The streets is actually for the big amount of players, and it will be super neat to have here 60 players or even more uh, with the with the addition of uh, the scavs and everything. So it could be pretty big. Recoil. Uh, I don't have the exact information here about recoil, but it's planned. We plan to rework recoil. It, we actually have a design for, for it. It will be reworked. It will uh, behave differently. And uh, don't worry. I have a slight uh, worries about how it will be played because uh, what I want to do in terms of recoil will differ from current recoil state. I know that some of you don't like the current state of recoil. I personally like it, but it's all about the auto compensation, right? And uh, just to have it fixed and uh, keep it in more natural way. We will have this redesign, and uh, you will see it by yourself. I don't know when exactly will be uh, the, the new recoil system, but I guess uh, summer, I guess. Maybe a little later. On this exact base, uh, there will be boss on the streets of Tarkov. And the whole concept uh, about this area, the auto shop, it's uh, the auto shop, it's the dealer center, Car, car, car. So the dealer center, uh, there will be some kind of reinforced fortress with the boss and his guards and mines and never and snipers. So this will be the last place you want to visit. It's like uh, the water treatment facility on Lighthouse. So it will be pretty hard to breach, and of course you will have a lot of stuff in there. But you must decide, is it a really good idea to actually storm the place? Especially uh, with the boss with the heavy machine gun. We decided to move on, move further from uh, the Steam Audio and decided to use uh, different technologies. And right now, with the, almost every patch, we change stuff and fix stuff related to sound position and everything. So uh, there's a lot of tuning, there's a lot of handwork and everything because literally uh, it's a pretty expensive uh, stuff in terms of actual development and also it needs to be done in in, in specific way so uh, if we will try to fully optimize it it will uh, lead to drastic fps decrease so we need to do it precisely uh, with a lot of like manual re reworks so sound plans for the sound system for the next six months Second iteration of sound tuning on location, fixing and refining problems area. Uh, refinement of problem spots on the system, transition between indoors and outdoors, transition between basement rooms, optimization of the algorithm. It's all uh, being done constantly. A subsystem implementing sound diffraction, sound wave around an obstacle, by, cal by calculating the virtual position of the sound source. As, ex as an experiment, we will try to combine the current system with the geometry baked in from Oculus. So Oculus has the bake-in geometry, like optimized uh, solution for the sound occlusion. We will try to combine our te technology, our system with the built-in Oculus technology. Development of the re reverberation zone subsystem. Proper sound in rooms according to the size and materials. Reverberation, uh, like we have like only two types of reverberation, outdoor and indoor, and we'll try to add more of the Nolan did a big video just before uh, noise guy just before uh, the podcast he did a big video consisting all of the mentioned stuff that we are uh, shown on the different podcast uh, all vips and, and everything and uh, there is a pretty big amount of stuff that we have in mind and uh, just to have AFT finally be released we need to cut the stuff off the game because literally it will be 
another several years of production. So some of the features will be moved to DLCs. Some of the features will be like deleted actually. And uh, but uh, and, and actually when we uh, composed uh, the release plans, <coughs> we removed a lot of stuff, but we kept a lot of stuff too. So the new boss, as I said. Uh, mm, mm, something more, something more stuff. Yeah, I can tell you everything. They like actually, there is a, like almost everything that they will have in upcoming patches for this year, but I don't want to tell you about it. It all uh, was about the new. Uh, features that we implemented within the anti-cheat it's all of, about like uh, new stuff that battle I uh, developed with us together and uh, again it's not done yet because we plan to do something big that will uh, actually break all, a lot of stuff for cheaters and for cheat developers so they not be able to make uh, cheats easy it's not easy right now but uh, after this feature, after this uh, update, it will be totally nightmare for them. And uh, this is it. I, maybe I will tell you more about it later. So, all of this, like, boxes, it's been being done by hand. So, all of the volume of, of the rooms is being done by hand. And all it needs to be placed perfectly. When it's not placed perfectly, it could lead to different sound, uh, like, uh, occlusion years and stuff. And uh, just to show you that it's not a simple word. And uh, the interchange will be the next uh, location with improved sound uh, occlusion and position. What else? Loadout presets. Yes. Left-handed shooting. Yes. Bipods. Yes. Recoil rework. Yes. Quick switch to sidearm. Yes. Suppressor durability, different sound filters, subsonic ammo, yes. Ammo loading interface, we will show you, not in this podcast, I think in the next one, we will show you the new ammo loading interface. Changing scope radical brightness, yes. User interface rework, of course. Quest rebalance, of course. Rebalance of levels, skills and mastery, of course. New weapons, just to mention one, one, once mm -hmm. again, AK-12. Ты вообще поиграл Я просто. Убил, the player, the most valuable player, Дамирка, и ВП вообще просто. We done a lot of stuff. So we did uh, all, all main menu screens, rank system, equipment preset system, two game modes, team fight and 5x5 and shootout, 2x2 and 3x3. First person spectator modes, four locations, Ecuador, Airpeed, Bay 5 and Soul Mill. Uh, we showed you the screenshots of Arena and uh, we showed you the video, the short teaser. Uh, two game modes already, one of which is against AI. The kill cam will be implemented in the game, in the arena. Uh, the new matchmaker will be implemented, the fast one, and the most likely this matchmaker will be used in EFT2. Uh, custom game system. We have a lot of features, a lot of uh, parameters to change and create your own uh, custom games and custom tournaments. Uh, it's so it's planned that with this functionality and any organizers will be able to host tournaments without the participation of developers.
Actually, this video contained another teaser for e for the arena, uh, the cleaning squad, and all of the mechanics around it. So e everything will be related. So all of the stuff, the arena reveal, uh, the Chronicles of Rigi and stuff, and the EFT itself, it's all one big event. So just stay in touch and uh, you will see how it will go back again so those were all of the major moments from the tarkov tv yesterday all of the clips are separated on my twitch channel which is linked in the description if you want to move through them in real time with the full cast each one of these subjects deserve and will get their own videos in the coming weeks we got some busy times ahead of us here for sure the rizzy event is still going on in game so try to contribute as much as you can i assume it will go all weekend at least but we'll see what pops up next weekend as well assuming that another one starts next weekend but we'll see and that's all for today guys you know the drill like the video if you did sub for more comment what you think also ask any questions you might have in the comment section follow me on twitter or join the discord both linked below for the minute by minute stuff check out my other channels for other games right here otherwise thank you very much for watching and i hope you have a nice day see you guys